What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrubby here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am. If you are, be sure to press the like button. Otherwise, no joke, no scam. Karen will move into your neighborhood. Yeah, that's right guys. If you don't press the like button, then the nightmare neighbor will suddenly be on your street causing problems for you. Anyways, boys, you guys know the deal with Karen. She's my crazy neighbor that's had problems with me. I ran into her at Target a little bit ago and I was figuring that was probably going to be the last time I was ever going to hear from her, all right? But, uh, then, you know, the only thing that could possibly happen that would make life even more interesting happens. I check my business email basically every morning, trying to see if any sponsors are trying to throw me the bag, you know? And if any sponsors are out there trying to throw me a sack so I can promote you, uh, feel free. As Blueface says, I am always chasing the bag. But regardless, I log into my business email, and every now and then, people will send me emails asking for advice or whatnot, and I'll, I'll usually, like, try to read it or try to respond, but I see the tagline on one email in my inbox simply titled I think we have the same evil neighbor and he already know I was like oh my gosh if this is true then the level of clickbait that I'm gonna get out of this is unreal so I open the email and sure enough in the first line is Karen's full real name like her actual name not the Karen name that I gave her so that way she couldn't complain to YouTube and get my videos taken down but this dude had emailed me Karen's entire full legal name and basically says hey I know this is a long shot and probably unrealistic but this girl just moved into my neighborhood this woman and her family and she is a psychotic person and I figured the way she was acting and the stuff she would mention made it seem like you definitely know her because I've seen your Karen video and at first I'm like all right listen this is probably unrealistic I don't know how this person got Karen's full real name or like how they managed to figure out where she had moved to but sure enough this person had Karen's full name and everything so I email back and just ask for a little bit more proof that this is the same crazy lady that has been giving me problems for most of my life, you know? And he sends me a picture of Karen and her kids outside, and sure enough, it's the same lady, dude. So I'm like, what, what is going on? And so he tells me, the person who's emailing me, that she has been causing problems around the neighborhood, and that if I want to use any of the stuff he's about to email me for content, then that's fine. But he just needs to vent about it, because uh, it's his neighbor now, and she's causing all these problems, and he just needs to get it off his chest to someone who understands and I'm like you know what absolutely absolutely go for it so I guess first things first right when Karen moved into their new house she went around with vegan cookies introducing herself to all the neighbors you know and that's no big deal you want to make vegan cookies go for it I don't really care it's super sweet that you're gonna give your neighbors cookies Karen gets some good brownie points but the only problem is I don't know when she became vegan but uh she decides that it's not just enough to give people vegan cookies but when she knocks on this dude's door who's emailing me and he opens it and she can smell meat cooking inside she immediately starts berating him for like being an animal murderer and how he doesn't care about the environment and he might as well basically just be admitting that he hates all living species and is just like tearing into this guy which is a very confusing message when you were just supposed to be bringing your neighbors cookies you know only Karen would be crazy enough to be like ah, let me give you a warm welcome by baking you cookies and then telling you that the way you live your life is completely backwards you know like oh Ugh, this moron eats meat? How disgusting. I'm gonna introduce myself with cookies. Like, it's just weird. So, right off the bat, the guy is like, wow, this woman's a little bit mentally unstable because she's coming around trying to make a good first impression by insulting you the second she meets you. Not exactly uh, a good first impression, but pretty Karen nonetheless, like I'm not gonna lie, I, I was not surprised that she is this psychotic. So whatever, the first introduction is her yelling at him about eating meat, but he's trying to be polite, so he starts making small talk about how, you know, Oh, well, what brought you guys to the neighborhood? Why are you moving here? Where are you from? And sure enough, Karen basically starts complaining, saying that her old neighbors were just incredibly disrespectful and didn't understand that neighborhoods are places where families are supposed to be bonded together. And, you know, how she had this one neighbor who would just tell these stories on the internet about her that just made her look bad and were corrupting her son and his, you know, moral compass, basically trying to make it seem like I somehow, with my story times about, you know, people pooping in swimming pools, uh, and, and corrupting her son's moral compass, and if I'm corrupting your son's moral compass talking about the fact that people poop in pools, then, like, your son's moral compass was never very on straight anyways, you know? But, uh, basically the guy <laughs> keeps asking her questions about why they're moving here, and slowly but surely it comes out. She tells him about my channel and how I'm a terrible person, which... 
You know, I just feel like you should have better stuff to do, Karen. You're a fully grown woman. You're a mom. You have kids in school, and you're just going to complain about the fact that, like, I make videos on the internet. That's what you're going to introduce yourself to your neighbors with. Whatever, dude. You're a little obsessed, but, uh, go off, sister, I guess, you know? I mean, do whatever you think you got to do to live life as best as you can, Karen. So at this point, I'm cackling, all right? I am so inside this 30-year-old woman's head. She introduces herself to my neighbors, or her new neighbors, as, like, my worst enemy, you know? Which... It's a, it's a fun amount of power to have, I'm not gonna lie, like, to just be in this woman's head. But sure enough, I, I email him again, and I'm like, alright, that's crazy, but has she done anything weird in your neighborhood? And he's like, yes, oh my god. So, I guess they have another neighbor next to them. Like, this guy's next to Karen on the right, and the guy on the left has a dog that barks a lot. But, it's an older dog, and it barks relatively quietly, you know, and it, it's really not a big deal. It doesn't bug people much, and the guy walks the dog twice a day. And I guess the first time that Karen saw the dog getting walked down the street with her other neighbor she decided that the thing to do would be to try to establish dominance so she walks up to the other neighbor you know the guy that lives on the other side of her and is like is this the dog that's barking all the time and the guy's like oh yeah haha ha, sorry when I'm at work he's usually pretty quiet it's weird that he's been barking a ton and <laughs> Karen decides to uh, establish dominance by getting on all fours and barking in this other dog's face, dude. Like, this dog that's been barking in the backyard too much. Karen's, you know, your dog is a little loud and disrupts my peace when I'm trying to do yoga. And just gets down on all fours and starts trying to bark at a dog's face, which I'm pretty sure has never worked. Like, no dog's ever been like, damn, man, I, you're right. I was being a little bit loud while you were trying to do backyard yoga. That's my bad. As a golden retriever, I will do my best to abstain from interrupting any exercises in the future like that dogs can't think okay dogs just think food and bark they are not getting yelled at so she gets on all fours and starts barking at the dog and the only reason that this dude knows about it is because the other neighbor was like talking to this dude who's emailing me about how crazy it was that she was like trying to argue with his dog in, in dog speak. I don't know what's up with Karen, bro. I don't know why her poor husband married her, man. Maybe he's just in too deep. He didn't make her sign the prenup and he doesn't want to lose half of everything. But the second my wife starts thinking she can talk to dogs and starts barking at our neighbor's dogs for barking too much, I'm out. I I'm just cutting my ties and getting the divorce. But it gets weirder, all right? She's lecturing her neighbors, you know, she's yelling at them. She's complaining about how her other neighbor is a psycho psychopathic youtuber her old neighbor and now she's just arguing with dogs I don't know what this woman's screws are loose but apparently there's a lot of them right like if we went to a Home Depot and we're like dang what's wrong with this they would say well damn man I'm telling you your screws are loose all right so beyond that <laughs> I guess her poor kid the one that liked my videos and started this whole thing you know it, it was trying to play outside with like some of the other kids and they were all riding bikes and going over jumps and the kid just wanted to jump bikes and listen everybody's jump bikes and I'm all for safety and stuff where helmet or whatever but this poor kid goes back out there after telling his mom that he wants to do the bike jumps with like knee pads wrapped in bubble wrap and is obviously just not not you know vibing the coolest and look I get it you're trying to take care of your kids make sure they don't get hurt but like there is a certain coolest factor slap a helmet on him but when you make your kid look like you know he's a a, a backup I don't know bobsledder in the Olympics with the amount of padding he has on your kid just looks lame so now that poor kid is obviously known as like bubble wrap boy and just is never invited to do anything cool in the neighborhood because Karen just takes safety a little too seriously but that's no big deal you know taking care of your kid I, I guess I really can't fault you for that but the last story he emailed me before he stopped responding was definitely the the best one so I guess Karen's other new thing is like being prepared for the end of the world. Karen has become a doomsday prepper and I think the world is gonna end by the time, you know, like th this poor guy realizes that this is just normal now. She's not gonna go back to normal. And anyways, I guess her and her family decided to practice their evacuation plan in the middle of the night. They decided to evacuate. And you know what? Hey, nothing wrong with that. If you're gonna evacuate your family in the middle of the night to practice for doomsday, go for it. No harm, no foul. The only problem is Karen for whatever reason, decided to set her, like, emergency rendezvous point as this dude's backyard. So at 2 in the morning, he's, like, hearing ruffling in his backyard, and he looks out there, and Karen's husband and her are setting up a tent in his backyard. So he goes in the backyard and is like, what are you doing? And Karen, you know, is... 
well, it's always important to be prepared for a disaster, and we figure that the best emergency rendezvous point would be your backyard because it's near a water source because he has a chlorine pool, which you can't drink, so that's not a water source, Karen. Also, you kind of need permission before you just start camping in people's backyards. Like, it it's pretty against the law to just break into somebody's backyard and start camping. So, he asked them to leave his backyard, which is what you do when there's a strange family and a psychotic woman camping in your backyard, and... Karen gets pressed and is like, you don't understand, you're risking my family's safety, I'll do anything for my family, the fact that you would stand in the way of our important safety training is disgusting, and is yelling at this dude, and he finally is like, look, leave my backyard, just leave, and she's like, you know what, I don't know why everyone in this country is so unneighborly, every one of my neighbors just has it out for me, and is like, obviously becoming paranoid now, but, you know, they take their tent, and they leave, and at this point, the guy decides to, like, look up the channel that she had mentioned when he first met her about how her other neighbor is a psycho, and, uh, he watches my Karen series and decides to email me all of this so I can make another video, which, I mean, shout out to you, bruh, you a real one, ad revenue from this gonna be fat, so yeah, moral of the story, Karen is still completely mentally unhinged, and, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda starting to feel bad for this new dude, like, at least Karen never tried to camp in my backyard, I can say that much, but, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, be sure to turn on notifications, if you turn on notifications, send a screenshot to my Instagram, at Scrubby, I shout somebody out every day, and, uh, you should follow me over there too, today's notification shoutout goes to Tsank5, big thank you for having on notifications, I do really appreciate it, if you wanna super support the channel, check out the Teespring link down below, and, uh, be sure to cop yourself some merch, it does help a ton, and other than that, don't get anyone pregnant, if you do, make sure they're hot, I'm still on vacation, I will be back the day after tomorrow. Have yourselves a great day, and uh, I'll see you guys next time with another video. I'm out. Peace.